Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss factoring difference of two squares. Now, first thing that we need to do is how do we identify if a given polynomial is a difference of two squares? So, for a binomial to be a difference of two squares, we must satisfy two conditions. So, first condition is the two terms must be a perfect square term. Okay, when we say perfect square term, term, please take note of the perfect square numbers from 1 to 10 and so on. Okay, so here are the list of numbers that are perfect squares. We have 1, 4, 9, and so on and so forth. For variables to be a perfect square, the exponent must be an even number. So here are some examples of variables that are perfect squares. Second condition, the operation between the two terms must be subtraction. Or the minus symbol. Let's talk about okay. how do we factor or how can we factor difference of two squares. So we have different steps. Step one is to get the square root of the first term. Now take note, if you're going to take the square root of a variable with an exponent, always divide the exponent by 2. Step number 2, get the square root of the last term. Okay, again same procedure as number one but this time it's the last term and last one will be group the answer in this pattern one group will be x plus y and the other one will be x minus y so the square root of the first term okay and the square root of the last term will be grouped and paired together so we have the addition group and the subtraction group example for example we have x squared minus 49 so in in order for us to factor this first we need to prepare two grouping symbols okay prepare na natin yan next is we follow the step by step procedure so first is to get the square root of the first term and that will be equal to x and we will place the square root of the first term to the first term of each group so we have x, x. Yeah. Next is we're going to get the square root of the last term. The square root of the last term is 7. So we will also place the square root of the last term to the second term of each group. So we have 7 and 7. Now we're going to identify the operation. Now, the operation of each group will be different. Okay, so we will have one addition group and one subtraction group. And that will be your factored form for x squared minus 49. Let's have another example. For example, we have a raised to 8 minus b raised to 6. We know that a raised to 8 and b raised to 6 is a perfect square number or perfect square variable because the variables are raised to an even number. So we can apply the factoring for difference of two square. So first thing that we need to do is to prepare our two groups. Okay, so group one, group two. Yeah, factor one, factor two. Ayan. So we have two factors for this one. Okay, so to get the factors, we must apply the step-by-step -step procedure. So first step is to get the square root of the first term. So, when getting the square root of a variable, we are going to divide the exponent by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, the square root of a raised to 8 is a raised to 4. And we will place a raised to 4 to the first term of each group. So, a raised to 4, a raised to 4. Get the square root of the last term. So again, we will just divide the exponent. 6 divided by 2, that will be equal to 3. So we will have the last term, or the square root of b raised to 6 will be equal to b raised to 3. b raised to 3. Next step is we are going to follow the pattern. The first group will be addition. The second group will be subtraction. And that will be the final answer. So let's have another example. For example, we have 16 a raised to 4 minus 25 b squared. So first thing that we need to do is we're going to prepare our grouping symbols. 
okay grouping symbols we have two factors for this polynomial so first step is for us to get the square root of the first term now square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of 8 raised to 4 again we're just going to divide the exponent it will be a raised to 2 4 a squared 4 a squared next step is for us to get the square root of the last term 25 b squared so the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of b squared will be b okay and we're going to copy that with the second group 5 b okay and then afterwards we're going to have one group that will be added to each other and the second group will be subtraction okay again you can interchange the addition and subtraction na operation because you can apply commutative property for multiplication okay so that's it yeah so now that you already know how to factor difference of two square it is your turn to try it now click the link in our description box below in order for you to open our practice exercise that's it for today i am teacher justin goodbye god bless and stay safe see you on my next video